<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. So if you guys don't remember in the last episode, as a recap, Sayaka was murdered in our room. So we need to find out who is the killer and also I just want to say thank you guys for like getting these videos like so much love. Like I did not expect it. So anyway, I just wanted to say thank you and let's go ahead and load our game in. So school life. Yeah, let's load back in. So it looks like we're going to have to start our investigation now. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remember seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me. Again, it was someone I've seen before. Oh yeah, if you don't remember, in the last episode, I think we did faint. <gasps> You're awake, finally. Are you okay? <sighs> Now's not the time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um... You are unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. Well, It's no surprise, considering what happened. What happened? <laughs> ah! Um... Hey, are you okay? So it wasn't a dream? What I saw, it was real? Hmm. That's right, it really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see for myself. I have to see if Sayaka is... If Sayaka is... Just give up. You can check once, twice, a thousand times. Sayaka is completely and irrevocably dead. No, I have to see for myself. Why? Listen to us, man. What Why? do you think's gonna happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it to just do sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in the gym at a time like this? Our friend, Sayaka, she's... She's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she was really gone. Calm down. None of us want to be right here either. Then, why? <laughs> Shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma told us to c come here. Well, hold on, don't tell like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remembered the terrible price Sayaka had to pay, but so I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. Correct. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he has to say? It's obvious that he was the one who killed Sayaka. I would never do that. If you believe in anything, if you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> He's here again. Hey. Unless um... someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I will do I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up. I'm a famous I'm famous at Savari Parks throughout the world for following the bare times one rule. But, but... then who did it? Who killed her? Come on. You already know the answer. The one who killed her is... One of you! Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid, that's... Wah -wah? Hmm? What's the matter? You guys look like you're about to see a dove get shot with a Gatling gun. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all begun? <laughs> one of you decided to kill Sayaka so you could graduate. Someone just followed the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. You're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope, sorry. One of you is now a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who could do it could testify that to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their faces. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um... Are you serious? What is this? Someone... Someone killed someone? <laughs> it's amazing that people are- It's amazing what people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hold on. Don't assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. That's enough. Before we do anything else, I'd like to confirm something with a stuffed animal here. <laughs> If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> <laughs> What? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cause... Naive, you're just so naive. You really think it's that easy? You can just kill someone and watch out of here? Hey. 
You're super naive. Devishly naive. Hellishly naive. No, no, no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then. Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rule regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement you have to uphold, remember? Then perhaps... You're referring to the rule number six of the school regulations. If you are the black and that committed the murder, you, can, you can't be found out by other students. This is what you're talking about, no? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone, you gotta actually get away with it. Which naturally means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been getting gotten away with. Yahoo! So a certain time of so after a certain time I can't read. So a certain amount of time after a murder has taken place, a class trial will begin. Class trial? Hmm. Yup, it's it'll begin in a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder, and they and the spotless students will all engage in one big debate showdown. During the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one that disturbed your peace will be punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will survive. And the rest of you will receive your punishment. Which of course means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Well... So, um, what exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, to put it simply... What? It's execution. <laughs> execution? What? And by execution, you mean... Execution is... Execution. Execution! Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. Bro's crazy. So to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die, but if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well, what a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you, implying you didn't do it without actually saying it. So basically, that's the outside world calls a lazy judge system, or an inquisitive system, inquisitive type thing. <laughs> Which means you'll all be deciding who you think the killer is. Hmm. But judge carefully, because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, now let me just add the rule I described to your handbook. Make sure to keep it in mind. New rule. Hey. Wait, hold on a second. What the hell are you talking about? You're freaking insane, you know that. Huh? Hmm? What the... A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it! What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murdered someone? What, what are you... What are you saying? You're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits blasphemy. The hell are you what? talking about? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know, throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up! Whatever you say, I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't Don't be so it. selfish! Stop it. You're the one being selfish. Kill whoever you want. I'm not gonna do anything with- It's not got anything to do with me. <laughs> the evil standing before me. I'm trembling with fear. Shing. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist to the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that, he came charging at us. Although, it was more of a waddle. But then... Uh, Junko, you can't do that. Are you enjoying yourself now? Are you? Hmm? Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed. You violated a school regulation. I invoke the mighty summon spell. Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnier. Oh, no. This wasn't supposed to... Why me? 
suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. They just killed a student in front of us? Oh my god. I guess we don't have to find out who the murderer for that one was. <laughs> what the? I don't... This can't be real. No, no way! Well now. I am now painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a course from popping up for no good reason, you know. But I guess all you needed to be taught was a lesson, after all. Ha, huh. what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you'd best obey those school regulations. Oh my gosh, she really is dead. <laughs> Junko's body had been impaled with a bunch of spears. An unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I've seen the moment someone's life came to an end. There, nobody could deny what they'd seen. Junko, who had just a second ago been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um... It's really not all that shocking. She just died, that's all. Just went and died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the human race. It's just as natural as the eventual world into the world itself. <laughs> This isn't some superhero comic, so it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. <laughs> this is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you just say... Didn't... Yeah, didn't you just say you would put her in a prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew it. No. You've been wanting to kill this entire time. Say what? This entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill time. Or are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on, what do you take me for? I'm Monokuma! Well, now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you in search for the blackened. This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I call it... The Monokuma file! Hmm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't expert at this kind of thing, so all I could do is really... so. I cannot read today, oh my god. So you can only do so much with the corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know about the circumstances and the cause of death. Yeah. What's that? How do I know the cause of death, you ask? Because <laughs> the surveillance camera picked it up the whole time. I got to see it all go down. So then. Wait, so then, you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair trial and execute in... <laughs> <laughs> and accurate judgment during the trial now, could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort in behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice but to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. So, okay, we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. And he's gone. And with that, Monokuma disappeared once again. He left us stunned and confused. He left us at a total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder and colder right in front of us. And for who knows long, nobody said a word. The fact that Sayaka and Junko were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more to it than that. It was also the idea that one of us had actually murdered someone. And that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with, uh, with suspicion. It was the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such a pers pers per perversely terrible situation, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing we can do right now is lose faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as to having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words... Cooperation is absolutely key at this point. You decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think and talk about the deceased certainly isn't going to help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> How many times have I told you? Anyone can adapt will die. Death is only 
Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable and unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible. What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing. Because if we don't, we're all gonna die here. <laughs> She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. Either way, we can't run from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell am I letting someone kill me. Alright, damn it. Let's go do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. Like they were using it as a mantra to give themselves strength. But they're right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. On top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I had to know why Sayaka had to die. Why was she the one who... I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death. Which is why I don't have any choice. I have to do this. We're just gonna stand over Junko's dead body. Uh, am I supposed to talk to everyone? Kyoko? Hey. Before we start searching for Sayaka's killer, we need to decide what to do about securing the crime scene. What do you mean? Hmm. You're thinking of putting someone on guard duty so nobody can disturb the area, don't, aren't you? After all, if the culprit decides to destroy the evidence, we're pretty much screwed. Hey. In that case, I don't mind doing it. I don't have- I don't like having to think anyway. I'll let you guys figure out who killed that chick. Hmm. Okay, then we can let Mondo look after the scene. <laughs> well, no, we can't just leave him there alone. What? Why the hell not? Stop talking. Isn't it obvious? If you were the culprit, what's the first thing you would do? By volunteer for guard duty, you put yourself in a position to destroy all the evidence you want. <sighs> what? F you. So then. Fine then, I'll stay there on guard duty as well. Then that'll be no problem. Mm -hmm. Two player co-op based defense with two of them. With their stats, they're totally OP. Huh. Since we won't be able to help investigate, we're putting our faith in the rest of you. I'm still pretty freaked out, but I'll try. Okay, can I can I leave? Can I R? Just a second. Uh What? I don't want to discuss anything else. Um okay, I guess I have to talk to everyone. Hmm. We need to hurry up and figure out who the culprit is. Uh you asked me to talk to everyone. Oh. Hmm? <laughs> so you finally noticed. Crap. Huh? Noticed what? <laughs> I was looking through the Monokuma file we received, and I noticed something very obvious and very unusual. Huh? What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, take a look. Notice anything interesting about where Sayaka died? She died in Makoto's dorm. Ah. That she's right. <laughs> then, could it be... All at once, everyone's gaze turned to me. Hold on a second, you got it all wrong. For, for just one night, I, I traded rooms with her. I did it because she was afraid. You expect us to believe that? Just tell us the truth! The look in everyone's eyes had done a complete 180 from just a few minutes ago. The feeling of suspicion and fear had returned. In other words, you think I did it? Okay, who else do I need to talk to? Uh, Aoi? What the heck? I hate this, but we still don't have a choice. We have to figure out who did it, or else we're all dead. Yeah, you're not very helpful. Okay... Is this really happening? Screw that bear. <laughs> huh? uh, um... What's going on? Oh my god, hero. Maybe I need to look at Junko. I gently placed my hand on Junko's lifeless body. I touched her wrist to check for a pulse, like they do in movies and stuff, but... She really is dead. There wasn't anything else to say. She was gone. <laughs> I don't know why you even bothered to check. After those injuries and losing that much blood, frankly, I'd be shocked if she did survive something like that. Huh? Hold on. <laughs> hold, uh, hold on. J just wait a second. She, she's dead. That means, that means everything that's happened so far is real. It's not a joke or whatever. It's really real. <laughs> Hell no! Someone save me! Get me out of here! Somebody help me! What's your problem? You're just now accepting that. So then. Are we all done talking? We need to begin our best investigation soon. At this point, we should split up. We need to get to the bottom of this and find out who killed Sayaka. We'll have to collect clues from the 
To form a foundation, then construct an argument to come to a final decision. If we get this wrong, so... Well, do I really have to say any more? Perhaps you'll be... I'd rather you didn't, no. Goodbye. Everyone, pray for good luck. With that, Kyoko hurried out of the gym. Goodbye. I'll be going too. And just like that, Kyoko... And just like Kyoko, he was gone before we realized it. Yo. Oh yeah, I'm on guard duty, huh? I better head to the scene of the crime. Mm. Ah, that's right. Hey, damn it! Let me just say this right now: if if whatever son of a bee did this is right here right now, and they're thinking of destroying that evidence, You're fucking dead. They'd better not let me find them. I'll skip the trial and cave their goddamn skull in myself. I'm serious. I will f them up. <laughs> Letting his deadly words hang in the air, he and Sakura ran off. So, um... But I mean, we're not detectives or anything, you know. We're just gonna investigate a murder? How do we even do something like that? Anyway... We really don't have anything in particular. We we really already know who killed Sayaka. What are you implying? This is very It, it was you! I'm telling you, it wasn't me. Mm. Oh. <laughs> don't come any closer. Are you gonna ki kill me next? Well, um... well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to give it a shot. It's not for sure that Makoto's guilty yet. Um... That's true, we may as well check just to check. <laughs> Even if I wanted to, I couldn't help investigate. Aww. Why not? <sighs> I'm not good with the blood. And it takes just one glimpse and I black out. Oh yeah? Oh well, whatever. I don't think anyone was expecting much from you anyway. Alright, I guess I better get going. Wait, don't go yet. You still have to hear me out. But it was pointless. Everyone had already left. And their parting look still had me feel filled with suspicion. Does everyone really think I'm the killer? How did it turn out like this? Seriously, they got it all wrong. Why do they have to suspect me? I have to do something, otherwise everyone will... Execution is... Execution! Electric chair! Zzz, zzz, poison gas! <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane! I can't let that happen. I can't let things turn out the way Monokuma wants. All I have to do is find out who really did it. Who really killed Sayaka. Can I start investigating? Yeah! Okay, this is the fun part, I feel like. I guess I should look through the Monokuma file we got before. The victim was Sayaka Maizono. The time of death is estimated to be around 1.30 a.m. The body was discovered in Makoto's room in the dormitory. All evidence suggests that the death took place in the bathroom. The cause of death was a stab wound to the abdomen, and there was also an injury to her right wrist. Specifically, the wrist appears to have suffered a fracture. We have no choice but to push forward if we want to find out what happened. Somehow, I have to find the truth so we can all survive. And for Sayaka, I have to find out how she was killed. Monokuma file. Okay. Okay, exit. I, I feel like I need to go check out her body. Okay, still in the gym. I don't want to be in the gym. Yeah, I want to go to her, I want to go to her body. Like to your room. Yeah, that's what I thought. We need to go to Makoto's room. Okay, just going to it's going to take me there. <laughs> so I headed to my room where Saika's corpse still remained. Okay, yeah, there is definitely a struggle here. I'd better examine the state of my room a little closer. That might reveal something new. Um, okay, what what is this? What is that? Oh, it's his key. That's a key on the ground. It has my name on it. So this must be my room key, if I remember correctly. Ah, that's right. We'll have to trade keys. So when we switched rooms, we switched keys too. So Sayaka would have the key in my room the entire time. But wait, if that's true then, how did the killer get into my room in the first place? Could Sayaka have forgotten to lock the door? No, that seems impossible. The same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. Even if I'm sure it's you, I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? After saying that, there's no way that she would have gotten forgotten to lock it or open it for any reason. Well, maybe she dropped the key somewhere and someone else grabbed it or something. No, that's not possible either. Sayaka was in here when we switched rooms. 
and with how scared she was, it couldn't have done- It couldn't have gone walking around. So she wouldn't have gone walking around. So she couldn't have dropped it. So how did the killer- Switching rooms. Okay. Uh, next is probably the sword. This is the replica sword I bought- I brought back for self-defense. Does this mean it was used in the attack somehow? And plus- Yeah, I was gonna say the sheath is gone. I hadn't actually looked at the blade until now. I wouldn't be surprised if it was called coated in gold too. On top of that, some of the gold coating has come off parts of the blade and the handle. Yeah, the handle especially is missing a lot of coating. I remember the coating sticks to you even if you just touch it a little bit. Okay, replica sword. The lint roller's also been moved. Huh? Looking at the lint roller, it's it looks like there's less of it than there was before. Did Sayaka see how dirty my room was and decided to clean up a little bit? What is the limb roller for? It's obviously got to be for, like, evidence. The toolkit is still inside the drawer. Okay, it's- Okay, well, his toolkit's not been used. Yo. Hey, yeah, seriously. Oh, Mondo. Why? We ain't exactly Why? in the mood to be effing- To be building effing furniture, right? So you haven't touched yours either, then? What? Not just me. What? Nobody's busted out theirs yet, as far as I know. Actually, we were talking about it yesterday. Anyway. None of the guys has opened their toolkits yet, because, like, why the hell would we? Okay, toolkit. Uh, what else do I need to look for? Uh, oh, that's the sheath over here. This is the Rebelcore sword. No, it's the sheath! Yeah! Okay, yeah, and plus the sword's been taken out, so it's just the sheath, but... Huh? There's some scratches on the sheets, and they must have been made with something sharp, but how did the sheath get scratched up in the first place? Even if someone used the sword during the struggle, it doesn't make sense for the sheath to be damaged. I mean, if you're gonna attack someone with a sword, the first thing you do is unsheath it. A heavy sheath like this would only get in the way. It would just slide off in the middle of the fight. So why are there scratches on the sheath? Okay, what else do I have to... what else? Anything else? Um, I don't want to talk to Mondo. Okay, yeah, I was looking at the scratches. Is that evidence of a struggle? Obviously! Yeah, there looks like there might be some kind of fight in my room. Damn it, I was right there in the other room if only I heard something. But the, the walls are soundproof. So, like, they said even if someone screams, you couldn't hear it. Wait. That would have not been possible. Huh. Yeah, 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 that's what I just said. Yeah, that's what I just said, Sakura. <laughs> Perhaps this is another of Monokuma's strategies creating an ideal setting for murder. Yeah, okay. Maybe we should check her body. I should look around here first. What? I looked at everything! The table? No, that's Sakura. Do you think I'm guilty too? Hey. I try not to make assumptions like that. I simply don't know whether or not you did this. Hmm. Whatever decision the rest come, whatever decision the rest of you come up with, I will follow your lead. I see. Okay, what what else is there though? The bed maybe? There's gouges in the bed, like someone attacked it. What the hell happened? Uh, the trash can. I hit the table. No, oh my god, I've already done this. I've already done this. Oh my god. Okay, we get it, Makoto. What else is there? Am I being dumb? What else is there? Oh, oh, is it Kyoko? <laughs> hey, Kyoko. I quietly called her name while she was investigating the area, but... What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? N no. Not really. I'm searching. Searching? She was down on her knees, carefully inspecting every inch of my Did room. Did lose a contact or something? I don't know what she's doing exactly, but she seems to be concentrating pretty hard on it. But a few seconds later, she suddenly stood up, stood up straight and said, Listen. Are you a clean freak? Huh? No, I don't think so, but what? Nodding, she glanced around my room one more time. I see. Interesting. What's interesting? Hey. Just as I suspected, there's something very unusual about your room. 
Unusual, what do you mean? So... I've searched your floor from one corner to another, and I didn't find one single strand of hair. Really? Indeed. Not one strand of hair from the victim, or one from you, even though you've been living in here. You know, how much, you know, now that you mention it, I noticed something a while- Oh, wait, is that what the lint roller is for? I noticed something while I was looking around before. It looked like the lint roller in my room had been used, but I never touched it. Could someone have used it to- I see. Very interesting. Your room didn't have a single hair in it, and somebody used your lint roller without your knowledge. In other words, someone other than you came in and scrubbed your room clean. Was it Sayaka? Or the killer? Well... That's the question, isn't it? Makoto's room cleaning this. Okay, now can I look in here? The bathroom. And on the other side of this door... Oh, she's green! <laughs> no, I can't let it get to me. I can't afford to freeze up now. Forcing myself to push my panic down, I stepped into the bathroom. Hey, girl! How you doing in here? Cool. <laughs> Looking at her made it painfully clear it wasn't a dream or an illusion. She had lost everything that made her her. Sayaka. All at once, I was overcome with dizziness, nausea, the urge to burst into tears. But I can't. I can't hesitate now. Why? Why did Sakura... Sakura? Wrong character. Sayaka have to die! I have to un... un I have to uncover the truth. I have to find out what happened. I wanted to give up. I wanted to collapse, but the thought that had but that thought held me up and supported me. If I could read today, that would be a lovely. Okay. Um there's obviously stuff behind her. I looked past Sayaka to the wall behind her, and there I saw That literally just says Leon. That is an N. I'm sorry, that is an N. If you flip that around, that literally says Leon. Okay. I think I know who did it. <laughs> Written in the walls. Or the numbers. That is... N no, like there's a little streak of blood or something right there. That's obviously an N. Oh my god. 11037. Did Sayaka do this? Let me look at your fingers. You got blood on you? I told myself I simply couldn't face what I saw, but now there's no time to think like that. I pulled out the Monokuma file to verify what it said about her body. Oh, that doesn't look like a fun time. Some sort of object had been thrust into her stomach that must have been the killing blow. But whatever they used to kill her, where'd they get it? That definitely was something I should look into later. Also, according to the Monokuma file, Sayaka's right wrist was broken. Oh, and she's got gold on it. From, like, the sword slash sheet thing. Her wrist does look swollen and bloody, that's for sure. But there's something sort of glittery there on her wrist, too. Right there, where her wrist is all swollen, there's something glittery. That definitely concerns me. According... Uh, oh, another thing that concerns me is... Exactly, exactly, that was it. She had to write that behind her. Huh? There's some blood on her index finger, but that's it. The palm... Both of her palms are totally spotless, so how... Come only her finger. Oh, how come only her left finger? Yeah, she obviously had to write that. The stab wound in her stomach is what killed her, so when she broke her wrist, that must have happened earlier on. I mean, how could her wrist be broken after she'd already been killed? So it's very possible she broke her wrist during the struggle. The killer attacked Saika in the main room, which is when her wrist got broken. After that, the killer cornered her in the bathroom, where they inflicted the deadly wound. Okay, what else do I have to- That's it, right? Okay, well, I looked for everything. It would seem- It looks like he found it, right, Makoto? The bloody numbers, that's most likely what's Sayaka's dying message- Oh, oh I, I don't want to talk to you again! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I messed it up, I clicked the wrong button. It would seem... Yeah, this. Eh, eh, eh. Eh, there we go. Okay, bloody numbers. I've never seen something written in blood before. It was really her final message, as if she wrote it to... As, as if she wrote it with life itself. Life. Do you often talk like an inspiring poet? That's what I'm saying. Makoto's, like, talking all this gibberish and I'm having a hard time. My brain can't understand what this man is trying to put down. But the numbers she wrote, what do they mean? 
11070. That's literally just Leon. There was like a little line connecting it. It says the name. It says his name. I'm gonna say that it's Leon. I have no idea what could possibly mean. So... The way she wrote the numbers makes me think she wanted to use her bo her body to block them. If she wrote them in that location while she was sitting down the way we found her, it means she would wrote them by turning only her hand towards the wall. So if she was like... Right? But still, why would she write, instead of writing Leon, you know, the, the normal way? Because... L is like like this. It would still be like an L, wouldn't it? Or if she's over here, it would be like L. Or unless she went, I guess she would. Ow, I smacked myself in the head. She would have probably went like down. And okay, okay. You know what? I I figured it out in my head. <laughs> I had to do it myself. If you were right, if you were to write something in that position, do you know what the result would be? The result. Well, Think about it. You're not gonna tell me? Makoto. You need to uncover the mystery of this case yourself. I mean, I kind of just did. I gave you guys like an actual, like, <laughs> painting of it. Otherwise, the case will end and you'll remain unconvinced. I have no idea what you're trying to say, but it's obvious that you're not gonna tell me. Okay, so like, yeah, yeah, if she used this hand. I mean, she could have wrote the, it, like, an L. I don't know why she would write it like this instead of like this, if you guys know what I mean. I don't know why she wrote the 7 or the L that way. Because I feel like I would have wrote it like that. And that would have helped a lot. I don't know. I'm just, I'm thinking. <laughs> it sounds like Kyoko knows what Sayaka's dying message means. But honestly, I have no idea. Oh, I know who I should talk to when it comes to numbers. Who's better to ask than the ultimate programmer? Makoto. There's one thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you know about how the door to your bathroom got broken? Broken? Oh, you mean how it gets stuck? What? Gets stuck? Yeah, I guess I'm the only one, but the door doesn't fit in the frame quite right. When I first tried to use it, I thought it was just locked, but once you learn the trick, it opens no problem. Bathroom door frame. Correct. So the door doesn't quite fit the frame, huh? But actually, I'm referring referring to the broken doorknob. Huh? The doorknob? That's right. You didn't notice? Well, just try closing the bathroom door. I'm sure you'll see it what, right away what I'm talking about. I did what Kyoko said and shut the bathroom door. Huh? The doorknob. Can I take a look at it? Um, Kyoko, you're kind of in the way. What the heck? The doorknob's practically about to fall off. Why is it like this? It would seem... Someone must have used a screwdriver. Manda just said none of the boys used their screwdriver, so... Could it be a girl? No, I think it's Leon. She literally wrote his name. Or something similar to unscrew it. Because Makoto's thing wasn't messed with. And the boys said that no one use their screwdrivers so either someone's lying well someone has to be lying or like a girl took it or something i don't know whatever it was it's obvious that this was intentional what it was intentional why would someone want to do that so... i guess maybe they were trying to get the door unlocked and ended up breaking the whole thing but my bathroom doesn't have a lock on it only the girls bathrooms can lock right she stood there for a while lost in thought then apparently stuck, struck with a real, real, uh, sudden realization, she shot a question at me. Just a second. I have just one more question for you. You mentioned earlier that your bathroom door would get stuck, right? Did you tell anyone about that? Oh, um, well, I did tell Sayaka about it last night when we switched rooms. So what you're saying is only you and Sayaka knew about it. Mm -hmm. Interesting. She had the slightest hint of a smirk on her face. I got the sense that she was starting to really get into all this. I see. Then that clears that up, huh? Clears what up? I'm so lost. Goodbye. Well, see you later. Girl's just walking out the door. As if something I... As if forgetting I was ever even there, she suddenly turned and left the room. Okay. Doorknob. I really don't know what to understand of any of this, but... I've already given my room a good once-over. Maybe I should look around elsewhere. I should start where the murder weapon also might have came from. And also, I should look into the DVD Sayaka got. With Sayaka dead, I have no choice but to see for myself what was in that video. On top of that, I'm sure there are some other areas worth checking out too. Maybe I should see what everyone thinks. If they'll even talk to me, that is. Okay. 
We need to go to the DVD room. We need to go to the first part of the gym. We need to go... Where's the other place he mentioned? Ultimate Programmer. So we need to find Chihiro. Talk to them about the numbers. And maybe the kitchen? Because she has a kitchen knife in her. Like, there's no reason she should have a kitchen knife, right? Yeah, like, there's no reason for her to have a kitchen knife. Okay, I think the dining hall's right here. So let's go here first. Yeah, there's no reason for her to have one. Yo, Hina. Hina, are, or maybe the killer took the knife or something. Yeah, maybe the killer came in here and got a knife or something. Hina, are you investigating the dining hall? Mm. Oh, no, I'm just taking a break. Actually, I've been taking a break since we started. This is all a first for me, you know? I don't have the first clue what I should be doing. I know what you mean. <laughs> and I don't know why, but being in the dining hall helps me keep calm. So, I know I shouldn't, but I've just been kind of hanging around here. To tell you the truth, I was doing the same thing last night when Sayaka was killed. Okay, well that's a weird thing to say. Okay, what is- what is that? What is this? Oh, I can go in here? I didn't know I can- Oh, is this pantry kitchen? Um... <gasps> the knives! <gasps> and there's one missing. <laughs> There are all kinds of knives here, big, small, but it looks like one of them is missing because it's literally inside of Sayaka. <laughs> was it missing from the beginning or I better see if anyone here knows about it. Okay, is there anything else? Surveillance camera? I don't think we need the surveillance cameras anymore. Hina, I need to ask you about this knife. Hey, so did you notice that one of the kitchen knives is missing from the dining hall? Yeah, totally. Yeah, weird, huh? I thought it was kind of strange, a knife just suddenly disappearing like that. Oh, so I wasn't miss- so it wasn't missing from the beginning. That's right. Nope. Last I remember, they were all lined up in a nice, neat row. So, when did you notice one of them had disappeared? Well... I went to get some tea from the kitchen last night, and all the knives were still there. But when I finished my tea and went back into the kitchen to wash my glass, one of the knives was gone. So you're saying the knife disappeared while you were drinking your tea in the dining mm. hall? Yeah. In other words, you were right in the dining hall when someone came to look it, to take it. Then you should be able to say for sure you can tell everyone I didn't come into the dining hall last night, which proves I didn't take it. Then who did? Someone obviously had to come into the dining hall while Hina was in here and she doesn't um... know? By the way, did you really kill Sayaka? Bro, you literally... You know I'm not in here. Of course not. I would never. Hina, do you really think I murdered her? I mean... Well, she was killed in your room, right? So, I mean, you guys were supposed to be friends, right? But you still killed her. On the other hand, two people becoming good friends, then one killing the other is a classic drama setup. So, when you consider everything together... Yeah. I honestly have no idea. Okay, this doesn't make sense. She should be able to see... That someone came in, unless someone snuck in somehow, like, I don't know, like, maybe there's a secret passage from the kitchen or something like that. I don't, I don't know how she wouldn't know unless they, like, came in secretively or something, you know? Oh, what is this over here? Laundry room? Um, I need to find Chihiro next, I guess. Chihiro. Where's Chihiro? Chihiro. Chihiro! Junko, Toko, Celeste. Chihiro! This is Chihiro's room. What? Where is he then? What's over here? Oh, it just completely goes around? Can I go in here? Oh, I can go in here? Oh, no, I don't want to leave yet. I don't- I haven't even looked in here. Uh, okay, there's two things. A hatch on the floor. It won't bulge, it must be locked. I gotta clean! Okay. It's the end of the line, the trash room. This is where all the trash in school eventually winds up. 
How do you get this gate open? No, no, you can't go any further. no entry beyond this point. The only person on cleaning duty is allowed in. Cleaning no, duty? No, you can't go any okay. No, no, you can't go any No, no, you Dude, can't shut go any up! Further. Oh my god. Okay, so cleaning duty. Who's on cleaning duty? Can I find anyone on cleaning duty? Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the door. <laughs> I thought that was a closet. Okay, I need to find Chihiro. But where would Chihiro be? Uh, that's the bathroom. I don't think I can go into the bathroom. Okay, well apparently I can't go in the girls. Can I go in the boys? I can't go in the boys' bathroom. Um, hello? It's a fish tank. I got a coin. Okay, well, there's nothing for the bathroom. Where the heck is Chihiro, though? Um, I think I need to probably go downstairs. Maybe? Let's see. I need to go to the... I think it's called the AV room. Wherever the DVDs were. I need to go there. Um, let's see. Tab. AV room. Uh, down this way. And then this way. Yeah, okay, there. I don't need Yutaka. I need Chihiro. I don't know where they are. Okay, can I play her DVD? It's a DVD player. Yeah, no duh, it's a DVD player. Uh, I want to play her DVD. Why can't I play her DVD? Did I get- did I not get her DVD? Oh my god, did I not even get her DVD? <laughs> Do I have to go back to the room? Okay, you know what? We're gonna go try to find Chihiro. They've gotta be somewhere here. Come on, where is this girl at? Um... You know what? I do have to go to the gym, so let's go to the gym. And maybe they're in the gym or something. Hero, I need you. <laughs> Where's she at? Uh, the sword, right? Inside the display case, there's trophies. Oh my god, you're not helping me at all, Makoto. Like, whatsoever. <laughs> uh, oh, there you are, there you are. There she is. Hey, Chihiro, I was hoping I could ask you something. Huh? What is it? Before she died, Sayaka left a message. She wrote, the, she wrote out the numbers 11037. Do you have any idea what these numbers might mean? Like, could they be a code for something? Mm. Sorry, no. Chihiro slowly shook her head. Uh, I'm sorry. I just don't know. Okay, well, don't worry about it. Thanks for trying anyway. She doesn't know, even know. Or could she maybe know more than she's letting on? No, it couldn't be. Okay, is there anything else here? Uh, hero? No way, I seriously don't want to die here. <laughs> I'm begging you, God, Buddha, Mother Earth, God of Space, King and Neptune, help me! I don't care who it is, just get me out of here! Okay... I don't think there's anything else here to, like, worry about. But Makoto said I needed to go to the gym, unless that was just a way for me to find... Chihiro. He told me to investigate right here. You told me to come in here, Makoto. Oh my god. Yes, leave the area. I need to go back to the room. Our room, I guess. What is that? What is the love room? <laughs> the love room. Um, yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Um, how do I get back? Here? Yeah, the hotel. Okay, so we need to go back to Sayaka's, Sayaka's murder area, I guess. Um, where's my room? Wait, Han, this is Sayaka's room, but the nameplate has my name on it. Oh, oh, wait, it is Sayaka's room then. No, it's, oh, no, this is my room. The nameplate on my room and Sayaka's room were switched, so all that effort I put into switching rooms without anyone knowing was totally pointless. But why would anyone do that? Okay. That I did not know. 
Do I have to grab the DVD in here? Like, I, I swore I saw it or something in the trash can, right? Trash can. What? Where's her DVD at? Um, where is the DVD? I thought it would be in the trash can. Did I not have it or something? Okay, it took me some time, but I found where the CD was, and so it's in our room, slash, I guess this was Sayaka's room? Which makes sense, actually, now that I see it. Okay. Yeah, okay, now, okay, yes, I'm sorry, Sayaka, but we gotta watch the DVD. I could not, for the life of me, find that DVD, and it's because I forgot that their rooms were switched, because I kept thinking this is Sayaka's room, and, like, this is Makoto's room, but this, with... Makoto on it is Sayaka's room, so that's why the DVD is there and not in the other room where she was killed, because that's Makoto's room. Maybe I'm not as smart as I think I am. <laughs> okay, we gotta go back to the DVD room somehow. Okay, yeah, here. And I think that's the only other thing we need to do, unless we have to go back to the gym for something. Because we cannot pull up anything about the sword. I should be able to use this see to see what's on the DVD. The DVD that Sayaka threw in the garbage. I sat down in front of the screen and put the DVD in the player. I pushed play and the screen was dark for a few seconds, but then... The pop star! <laughs> An image slowly appeared. It looks like some kind of concert. And standing on stage, front and center, was a face I recognized all too well. Sayaka. She was there, along with her friends that she said had been so important to her, but she was positively glowing there in front of the crowd, so full of life. Seeing the image made it even harder to accept, except that she was dead. My vision started to blur and darken, and then the voice I've come to despise so much began to float out of the speakers. Zono, the ultimate pop sensation, lead singer for a world-famous all-girl pop band. For these girls, the glowing spotlight only made them that much more beautiful. But then... Ominous. Suddenly, the screen went dark, and in the next moment, I saw something I could hardly believe. Are they dead? What the? Saika had disappeared from the stage, which was now in ruins. Obviously, she's here at the school. But I noticed even more than that was the figures of the other girls who had simply collapsed. Okay, maybe they're not dead. This ultra-successful team suddenly fell apart. None of them will ever perform on stage again. None of them will ever feel the warmth of the spotlight. So then they are dead. For Saika. There's simply nowhere for her to return to. So here's the billion dollar question. What a what could have caused the group to go to pieces? Well, it's obviously gotta be like the mastermind. Look for the answer after graduation. Without warning, the video cut off. What the hell? That wasn't real, right? They're a super famous pop group. Everyone knows who they are. Is he trying to say even he was able to get to them? If that really did happen, everyone in the outside world must be going crazy. What kind of person would take things this far? Okay, what else do I need to do? I swear I still need to go to the gym for something. Because, like, we didn't get to look at the sword properly. Like, why can't I look at the sword properly? Tab. It wants me to click right here, but it doesn't say anything! Okay, I don't know what I'm supposed to do then. Part 2 of Emily doesn't know what to do. Um, is there anything in here? What is that? Oh, that's a surveillance camera. I don't think I need anything in the gym. Maybe we need to go back to Sayaka's room? Or maybe the kitchen or something? That's the only two places that I feel like we would need to go. Right? Yeah. Doesn't say I need to do anything, though. What do you want, Taka? 
cleaning duty again. As a matter of fact, Monokuma... Oh, yeah, we did go to the cleaning room and we saw that little locked thing. Really? He probably realized I was basically in charge, so he decided to talk to me directly. The topic of conversation was assigning cleaning duty. Oh, so you're on cleaning duty now. Actually, no. Huh? Okay, then who is? <laughs> Hifumi was also there when we had this conversation. He volunteered right away, so I let him have it. So he's on cleaning duty Count then. Indeed, but we'll swap out on a weekly basis. I'm sure you'll be up before too long. And when the time comes, I'll be counting on you. Okay, so I guess that means we need to look for Hifumi. Uh, what is- what is over here? What is this? Oh, it's the scary room. Why is Celeste here? Hey Celeste, do you know anything about this cleaning duty huh? stuff? What is that? Honestly, I have no idea. Okay, I can't talk to her, I guess. Alright then. Well, we gotta find Hifumi. And I did not see him. Maybe he's on the second floor? Right? Right? Where is Hifumi? In classroom? Okay, no one's in the classroom. Where is Hifumi? I run. I'm fast AF. Where is Hifumi? Hifumi. In the laundry room, maybe? That's like cleaning duty, right? Okay, I guess not. Well, I thought he would be in here, because that's cleaning duty, right? Like, you would still have to do laundry? Oh, there he is. There he is. I found him. I found him. What are you doing out here? Um, I'm looking for whoever's on cleaning duty. Cleaning duty? As a matter of fact, that's me. Why do you ask? It just so happens Monokuma talked to me yesterday and asked me to take care of it. Without someone on cleaning duty, the school would be flooded with trash in no time. <laughs> So I formally applied for the position. Hmm. I was gonna start this morning, but after what happened, I haven't had a chance to get started. And since you're on cleaning duty, you can open the gates in the front of the trash room? Of course! It's my job to gather up all the garbage and toss it in the trash room. And to do that, they gave me the key for the trash room gates. Mm -hmm. But we're supposed to rotate once a week, so eventually you'll be in charge. Very strange. Wait, hold on. You need a key to get in the trash room, and the only person- and the only one with the key is the person on cleaning duty. What's the point of going to all that trouble? Why not just leave the trash room open all the time so people can throw things away? It's because people can tamper with evidence. You stupid. That does seem more convenient. So in other words... Actually... Yeah! It's like for evidence, of course. So that's it. That must be why. If anyone could go in and out of the trash room whenever they wanted, then destroying evidence would be easy. Yeah, bro has never played Yandere Simulator, apparently. <laughs> the throw would disappear and things would become boring. Boring? Hey, listen. Anyway, more important than that. Hey, bastard. Hey, fatty, why did you. Why, why'd you want the cleaning gig anyway? Oh. I just um... decided to volunteer for something I knew no one else would want to do. What's the big deal? You. Liar, I know why you did it. Is it like. You want to dig through the girl's trash looking for, you know, and poking around at it? There's no way to think about this in a common sense kind of way. What are you talking about? My All my love is for 2D. You know what I mean. You know, there's all kinds of trash diggers like that. Maybe you'll get tired of 2D and then turn to... I would never get tired of 2D! After spending a significant amount of time comparing 2D and 3D, I voluntarily choose 2D. The only thing 3D is good for is to shower with love and affection on 2D. Oh, and PVC figures. Give me a break. How are you not totally embarrassed to say stuff like that? Hmm. If you're so worried about Hifumi's questionable mor morality, then there's an easy solution. Whenever a guy has cleaning duty, Sakura can accompany them and pick th picking up the trash to dispose of it. Hey. What? What? If you're as innocent as you claim, where's the harm in it? <laughs> That's not how it's supposed to be. Bro's being a little pervert, I guess. Anyway, on another topic, Kifumi, since you were on cleaning duty, I have a favor to ask you. Mm -hmm. What, so now you suddenly want to join my party? Sorry, but you haven't triggered that flag yet. I mean, you haven't helped me recover from a past trauma or saved a village or beat a boss. No, nothing like that. I was just hoping to get into the trash room and look around. You oh, okay. So easy. 
So Hifumi and I headed down to the trash hall. Okay, thank you for just taking me there. <laughs> oh my god. So you'd like me to open the gate with you? <laughs> you know, when I look at it, it makes me think. They said he killed his wife. Bro, what are you talking about? <laughs> he learned how to get by on the inside, but he never stopped dreaming. Getting by or living busy dying, he said. So him and Rita, they found themselves on a way out? What is he talking about? Whatever, please just hurry up. Is that like... Is that a book reference or something that I don't get? Okie dokie, leave it to me. Hifumi pulled a key out from his pocket and used it to flip the switch next to the gate, and then... Mr. Naegi! However, Mr. Naegi... Doubt. Surely you aren't planning to use the trash room to destroy evidence, are you? You fiend, you planned this all along. No, I just wanted to see if the actual killer had tried to destroy any evidence or not. Mm. But the actual mm. killer is mm. you, isn't it? Mm. You want to see if you left anything behind. What? Wait, maybe a parallel world. Whatever, let's just hurry up and keep looking. There is evidence here. There's literally a bloody shirt. There's something over on the ground in front of the incinerator. Yeah, it's like your, your cuff sleeve, like a burnt piece of something. Mm. A burnt piece, like a hunk, like a hunk of a burning love. Bro, just shut up. Just stop talking. Anyway, this is, looks like a piece of cloth and the shape. It's a, see, that's what I said. It's like the cuff links. Yeah. And now that I look at it, that's definitely blood on the cuff, which means this is all that's left of some evidence that the killer destroyed. But there are tons of people here with that white button-up shirt. This isn't enough to figure out who the killer is. Yeah, like, Hifumi has one. Who else has one? <laughs> Kyoko? I think, uh, Byakuya has one. Uh, what the heck is that? Looks like a chunk of ice. Oh, it's glass. There are shards of broken glass shattered around in front of the incinerator. It looks like there used to be some kind of glass ball. Isn't Hero like a clairvoyant? So like crystal balls or something, you know? Just big enough to fit in the palm of your hand. Is this perhaps... Is that... Do you know what this is? Mm -hmm. They say if you collect... <laughs> Is that Dragon Ball? <laughs> if you collect all seven, a dragon will appear and grant you a single wish. Mm. And just kidding aside, it's the kind of thing you might see on any big street corner. Gaze into it. Yeah, a crystal ball. And it'll show you a glimpse of your future. Just like that Mina girl. I don't get that reference. Who's on the quest to find that one guy. Yeah, I get what you're trying to say, but who did the this ball... Per, who did this particular ball belong to? The only person... Who it could be is that she's still be in the gym. Okay, yeah. Yeah, shattered crystal ball. Okay, there's also this I had to click. This is the incinerator. It's the way in it's way in the back part of the trash room. It's a good 30 feet. Okay, 30 feet. I'm thinking. If it's 30 feet, you would have to throw something, right? That's what the crystal ball was for, probably to like hit a button. And it's on right now. Doesn't look very on. Mm -hmm. Do you see the green and yellow buttons next to the mouth of the incinerator? Easy. It's pretty simple setup. You press the green button to get going and the yellow to turn it off. Sooner or later, you'll be on cleaning duty to make sure you have to leave. You learn this before you have to leave, okay? Huh? Someone turned the incinerator on. Okay. Okay. My guess is still that it's Leon. Because behind Sayaka, it's literally his name. That is a dead giveaway that it's him. But also, if you take that and you think about this scenario, he's the ultimate baseball star. And if it's 30 feet away, the, the button in the incinerator, he could have thrown it. It would have been hard for him because he's the ultimate baseball star, you know? He could, like, slip the ball through the crack when he, like, throws it, you know? He should have, like, good precision, so it's, it's obviously Leon. Doesn't he wear, like, a white button-up, too, or something? Very strange. I'm certain it was off last time I was down here. Is it a fairy? Yeah, I don't think it was. Fumi, do you realize what you just said? <laughs> the fairy? No, you just said last time you were here, the incinerator was off. <laughs> Ah, yeah. About that. There can be no mistake. I've only got one thing going for me, and it's my memory. I feel as if... Yesterday, as soon as I was appointed, I came down to check the place out. It definitely wasn't on then. I haven't been back to the trash room since then. And since I'm the only one who has the key to open the gate, most it should be impossible for the incinerator to be on, and yet... 
So that means someone was able to switch on the incinerator without opening the gate. I told you it's Leon. It's obviously Leon. But how is that possible? Hmm. This whole thing is quite hmm. strange indeed. When I was here last, the incinerator was off and those glass shards and burnt clothes weren't. <laughs> what does this all mean, Mr. Nayagi? Will you be confessing soon? Why me? That's it. I'm sure of it. Bro, everyone already knows you do it. You did it by the mysteries are being- All the mysteries are being solved one by one. I can read today. I can, I swear. It sounds like he's living at one of his comic book fantasies. Okay. We need to go back to the gym. And we need to talk to Hero about the crystal ball. What is in there? Okay. It's like windows. Um, I gotta find my way back, though. Okay, yeah, here. I gotta remember. I gotta find my way around the school. Click, click. There we go. Hope Speak Academy. We gotta go vroom, vroom, vroom. I'm speeding. I'm Sanic. God, that is fast. Do I ever have to run in this game? Like, run away from someone trying to kill me or something? Is that why I can sprint? Okay, we need to go talk to Hero. Hero! Hey, Hero, can I ask you something? Uh... No, 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 I gotta get out of here. Gotta get out now. I've had enough. Gotta break free. Hero, snap out of it! Um... Huh? Makoto? What are you doing here? What? Hey, um, does this look familiar? That's my crystal ball! And it's all smashed. What the hell? What the heck? I only bought this because the guy said he was blessed. He said it was unbreakable. So how did it break? What? Was it actually made of glass and not crystal? That dude totally duped me. Okay, first of all, how do you not know that it's not crystal and glass like i i'm a mini i would say mini crystal collector as well if you can't tell behind me i like to collect a lot of things i collect crystals they are not that easy to break like you have to use some force so like how can you not tell <laughs> he said it belonged to the pillars of history genghis khan george washington napoleon he said whoever tro controlled the crystal ball controlled the world was that seriously all bs um let's put that aside for now so you can say without a doubt that this belonged to you. Uh, um... Yeah, that's mine for sure. I probably forgot it in the laundry room last night. Someone must have come by and snatched it. Okay, laundry room. So if there was like bloody clothes, then maybe they tried to wash them out. And maybe when they washed the bloody clothes that the blood didn't come out. So that's why they tried to go to the incinerator. That meant anyone could have found it and taken it. Okay. Thanks, Hero. That's all I wanted uh, to know. Um... Sure. Um, by the way, I'm almost afraid to ask, but how much did you pay for that thing? <sighs> Everything I saved up from fortune-telling for two years came out to be like a million. A uh, million? Uh, um... That's pretty cheap, actually, bro. What the heck? I mean, considering it gives you the power to control the world, that's just too stupid. I can't even feel bad for him. Okay, did I investigate everything? I think that only happens when I've investigated everything. Um, so, uh, I'm getting tired of waiting. What say we just get started, hmm? It's time for the long-awaited class trial! Now then, allow me to appoint a proper location for the proceedings. Please go through the red door on the first floor of the school. Oh, so that's what that's for, okay. <laughs> See you soon! Okay, that answers my question. The red door on the first floor, that's where I should go. No, where I have to go. Okay, I'm actually going to leave this for next time. Next time we will go into... Okay, I don't see any students. I was looking around. Next time we will go into this red door. So let's go ahead and do the end screen. Okay, so in this episode we uh, did some investigating. And next episode we will be going into the class trial. I don't know how long that's going to take. So it might be a bit of a longer video. So I hope you guys are excited. I definitely think that it was Leon who did it. I mean, the evidence really points to him. This one feels really easy to me. So I am going to say that it's Leon. But anyway... We will find out for sure in the next episode. So if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!